In today's video, I buy another project car. Oh. <laughs> it works! If you've been watching the channel for a while now, you know that I, I really set my heart on uh, building up my truck, my 2002 GMC Sierra, and making it a race truck. And that project is still happening. But I had the opportunity to pick up a car that I have wanted for years uh, for a very low price. Now it does need a lot of work, which is why I've stolen my father-in-law's 2017 GMC Sierra Z71 and car hauler. And I'm off to go collect shooting cars next project vehicle. Now, of course, I could just let this car sit um, in one of my drop sheds for a while and finish race truck, uh, see it to completion, but I really thought more about it and if I can do a little bit here and there to get this car going, um, like I know some of the stuff that it needs and luckily parts for this car are pretty cheap. So. Uh, we're gonna be doing a few things uh, here and there with this car but the main project right now is still gonna be uh, run GMC um, so with that being said let's go get a car <laughs> Okay, so what we've done, we've just aired up the tires, we put in a new battery, we're putting a little water in the radiator because that uh, we think is, might be a head gasket, might be something else, we still got to figure that out. And in just a minute, we're going to see if it runs. How long has this been, been sitting roughly? 10 years? Uh, the last inspection sticker is 2007? It was June a pretty good inspection sticker when it went down, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh, shit. See if it'll move. I gotta remember where it reverses. Brakes up. Yeah, it's bowing down, it's not doing anything. There it goes. Oh shit. Okay. So the three hundred dollar Eclipse runs. No smoke. You want to try to drive it? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, so this thing has been sitting for a very long time, and we're not going to drive it far, but we are going to drive it. When you get kind of straight, do a little brake check. Make sure we got brakes. We have brakes. Okay. Watch out for 
the uh Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed going and getting my high school dream car. I'm super excited about this build. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of work balancing the two builds that we actually have going on for the channel between Run GMC and as I'm calling this one, Vanilla Rice. Do you understand why my wife didn't let me name our daughter? Anyway. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video because there's going to be so much more coming up with this and hopefully I'm going to be able to dedicate a little more time to the truck. Uh, if you check back Monday, I'm going to have a like really in-depth walk around of this car, sort of checking out little things here and there. This is my first turbo car. I had a 92 Eclipse in high school with a 1.8. This is a whole different monster. I'm really looking forward to digging into this car and seeing what it has to offer. And we'll talk more about the plans on Monday. But until then, take a little look at what this field find, I guess you'd call it, looks like now. Go down, up, down, up, down. And if you uh, hit them fast enough, it gets a little twitchy. <laughs> Our fall is sort of in the transition years. The ones before it, the New Edge Mustangs and Fox Bodies and everything before that, we're still trying to tap into the Mustang's original muscle car or pony car if you like, past. If this Stang were a music act, it would be Taylor Swift. Bear with me here. Taylor Swift, when she was still getting some play on country stations, but was starting to get sort of pop, and much like T-Sweezy, the Mustang has transitioned to a new genre.